Coming out is never easy. You have an idea in your head about who will support you and who won't, but that's little reassurance to the hundreds of possible outcomes that buzz through your head as you try to sleep every night. It's a fear only queer kids know, that growing feeling of dread as you start to slowly accept that this is you, there's no changing it, and come to accept the fact that one way or another, you're going to have to live your life being who you are. Even though half the world and even some of your family and friends are going to hate you when you finally find the one, and the truth is then unavoidable. It's something so many people just don't understand yet. It's a scary journey travelled by so many young people in this day and age, and I just wish people would realise that this is not a choice. It's not a way of life. It's who you are. Why can't I be like them? They're all so perfect with their football teams and girlfriends. Why do I have to be the gay one? The outcast. Hello, Rotherington. Nice to see you too. Assuming that reactivity is the lack of sleep or hypothermia, and we're still on talking nerves. I have good news and good news. So, what do you want first? First? And we have next up. Good to hear your voice. First off, I'm gay. Lesbian, whichever you prefer, really. Just being gay runs your families. And second of all, my wondrous girlfriend has found us somewhere to live. Said we could live with her, assuming we pay rent. She's not fussy. She'll give you time to get over the trauma you're clearly experiencing. But here, have some food. Didn't think I'd let you starve, did you? Thanks. Right, I'm off to get disowned by our parents. I'll see you at the college. Bye! Yo, add my man to your class. <laughs> Sorry I got you kicked out, by the way, dude. You can come live with me for a bit if you need. Uh, I'm okay, thanks. By the way, um, by the way, watch out for that Luke kid. He's gotten weirder since yesterday. He's now claiming to be you. Just stay away from him for a bit while my boys deal with him. You, why you and me? What's going on? I'm not sure, but I think it has something to do with this. It is. Oh my god, will you stop sneaking up on me today? You'll get used to it, mate. Like you do, brother. Wait, can you see us as us? Well, no, but your face this morning was on something along the lines of UK citizens when they realised Trump had been elected president. You two swap bodies, how? Fair story, simple. Not simple. What? It's a red type of aquamarine. It aids clear communication with all that is. It helps you see the world through someone else's eyes. Hence why you two are stuck like this until you see the pain each other are in. How do we do that? Well, what I need you to do is face each other and take these stones. Now, when you hold hands with these stones in them, you'll see the most recent cause of hurt in each other's lives. 
You ready? I am. Yeah, me too. Here's my favourite uphill gardener. Got time to cut my grass. How can you deny this? Man, they're being a bit harsh in a moment, eh? It's like the circle of life. The weakest get picked off and the strongest thrive off that. Well, surely you should be the strongest helping the weakest, dude. Man, I'm just kidding. I've got nothing against gays. Hell, I'd get off with a guy if he was hot enough. Really? You? Yes, really. Man, I'd get off with you if you were gay. Prove it. You don't, you don't look, look gay, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. You don't deserve friends. <laughs> you, don't deserve friends. you don't look Gays gay. Are overrated. You don't deserve friends. I don't friends. like you. I surprised you made it this far. Luke fancies boys. <laughs> Luke fancies boys. Luke I don't like boys. you. Luke loves boys. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mate. Notice anything, boys? I'm me! Okay, I hate to break up the high school reunion, but we need to go, Adam Astor. I need to get settled before me and the guy went go off to Zumba. Nice meeting you, Luke. Well, bye then. What happened? You fell. Fainted. We thought you overdosed. What? Who would even care if I did? Me. I'd care. 